Hello, D traders. I'm Kate Nidachina, and you are watching Insta Forex TV channel. Today, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand announced its decision on the key interest rate. According to the meeting results, the RBNZ lowered the key interest rate by 25 basis points to the level of 3% from 3.25%. The regulator's decision met analyst expectations. Ahead of the RBNZ meeting, market participants had expected a more significant cut by 50 basis points. The RBNZ auctions uh, were quite expected, that's why they did not cause strong reactions. The main reason for the benchmark interest rate cut was weak export data. On Friday, New Zealand will publish June data on exports and imports. Also, the trade balance data will be revealed this day. Analysts suppose that in June the New Zealand trade balance will total 300 million New Zealand dollars on a monthly basis and the trade deficit will be 2.7 billion New Zealand dollars annually. The annual currency exchange rate increased after the publication of the RBNZ decision. The New Zealand dollar also rose amid expectations of the RBNZ meeting. The quote grew above the level of 0.6680 after the meeting results release. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand did not pay attention to the national currency exchange rate and its announcement does not contain any information on its overestimation. RBNZ Governor Graham Wheeler said about the possibility of the monetary policy easing, which means that the regulator will not cut the key interest rate at the next meeting. The document reads that uh, since April the New Zealand dollar has declined alone with a key interest rate cut that led to the monetary policy easing. According to Charles Sant Arnaud, an economist at Namura Securities, the RBNZ needs to continue with the rate cut. He also added that there is a peak of activity in the country's construction sector. This is connected to the reconstruction after the earthquake in Canterbury. However, this situation can lead to the economic slowdown that may increase the risks of the GDP forecast deterioration by the central bank. It was Insta Forex News and me, Kate Nidachina. See you soon.